Yeah, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Eckstein. I also want to talk about sharpening a little bit. What I have here is called a, a steel or a rod. And uh, this is basically how you keep your knife in good shape. So like I said, if you have one knife, whether it's um, a cheap knife or a fancy knife, having something like this is handy because basically this is used to straighten out the edge of the knife, um, not take any metal off of it, but just keep it um, you know, smooth and everything straight. Um, basically, when you sharpen a knife, you get the cutting edge very, very sharp, very, very thin, but that has a, a potential to curve over, to curl over, and uh, this steel will straighten that out. Now, <clears throat> you've already seen me do it a couple times here, but to talk about it, basically there are different techniques here that people use, but basically you want to uh, sharpen it, to, to hone it at a 22 degree angle. So the best way to, to do that is to take your knife, put it at a 90 degree angle, cut that in half, that's a 45 degree angle, cut that in half again, and that's a 22 degree angle, which is what you're looking for. The other thing I want to talk about is a stone. Now this sharpening stone is definitely not something that everybody needs. At the same time, again, if this is, um, if cooking is something that you're serious about and you want to keep knives sharp yourself, uh, you, why not get a stone? You know, you're going to be able to figure it out. Um, you're going to be able to get the experience of keeping your knife sharp and you won't have to pay to take it into a professional shop um, often. Now, sharpening on the stone or having a professional do it, that's not something you need all the time. If you're putting really heavy work on your blade, I mean, as a professional, like once a month, uh, as a home chef, once every six months, once every year, maybe not even that often, using the steel, using a honing um, tool will help you keep it sharp, um, whether it's coming out of the factory or whether it's coming from a professional knife shop. At the same time, though, like I said, if you're interested in this, uh, a little bit more seriously, getting a stone is worth its value. So basically how it works here is uh, I've already soaked this in water. I am continuing to add a little bit of water to it. And then I'm going to <clears throat> get my blade on there at that same 22 degree angle. Now basically if, if you have already established an edge on the, on the blade, um, you should just be able to find it, you know, holding it down there, you know, find the angle that it wants to sit at. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly go through the blade, we're pulling it back and forth, using our fingers to both keep the knife steady, as well as really uh, ensure that we're sharpening a particular part of the blade itself. I won't do this too much here um, because uh, just trying to, to demonstrate real quick. You can see I just go through the edge of the blade. I'm just going up and down. I'm taking the whole length and getting it sharpened. And this will take the edge off, it will take metal off. And you want to make sure that the stone is wet and that you're uh, developing, you know, a little bit of water on the rock and you'll uh, <clears throat> you'll see stuff kind of kind of coming off of it, it becoming more sludgy. So we'll do one side and then switch over, change my stance a little bit. And repeat the same technique on the other side. Again, I'm trying to hit all the different parts of the blade. <clears throat> and you can just kind of use your thumb to uh, feel that whether it's sharpened or not and um, you know, make sure that you hit all the spots, find any trouble spots. And then after you've done this, it's always a good idea to then run it over the steel once again. And that should do it. It is one of those things that um, you know, just takes time and experience. That's why it's good to get a cheap knife, um, a starter knife, and then get a stone because if you screw up the knife, it's not really a big deal. Basically, always uh, professionals will be able to help you reset an edge on it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of taking care of your knife and uh, learning how to use one, the basics. We'll get into cutting next. Stay tuned.